This is Eugene Panarikovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 1750 laptop computer with a broken screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the screen on a Dell Inspiron 1750 laptop. Okay, uh, first let's to look at the tools we need. Uh, relatively few, few for this one. It's still early morning, so my tongue is not woken up yet. Okay, so first thing we need is a pair of metal tweezers to extract screws if we need to, and then an electronics screwdriver with a PH0 bit and a larger PH1 bit. The PH stands for Phillips. Okay, so in most laptop computers, when you want to, well, even before we get there, the first thing we need to do is remove the battery. The battery is on the bottom. There's only one lever to slide. We slide this lever like this, and we slide the battery out. So make sure you remove the battery before you start work on the laptop. Okay, now getting back to where we were, the first thing we want to do is remove this plastic bezel from around the screen so we can get to removing the screen. Uh, in most cases, the bezel is going to be secured with some screws, but in the case of this laptop and the newer Dell laptops, it doesn't have screws, it just snaps in. So we're going to remove the bezel first. And the way I like to do this is put the computer on the side, put my fingers on the screen side, and gently use my fingertips start lifting up the bezel and listen for snapping sounds. And the bezel is going to start to come off. So take your time on this. I could probably do it faster because I do this a lot. But it's probably the most difficult part of this job. Okay, keep going, take your time. Almost there. And sometimes the hinge covers, or never mind, but sometimes the hinge covers get stuck. And what I like to do is put the tweezers under the hinge cover and lift it up, help the, help the plastic frame out. Okay, so we remove the plastic frame and we put it on the side. Now the screen is secured by metal brackets on the side and there's screws on the side of the screen that we have to remove next. So we take a look at the screws, see if we can easily reach them. And this one's not quite as easy to reach, so we have to remove a couple of screws that hold the metal bracket so we can tilt the screen forward. So we remove one screw and we remove the second screw okay once we do that we can tilt the screen forward just a little bit and that's just enough for us to move reach the screws on the side. So there is one down here and there is one up here. So let's start removing them. And when you remove them, uh, have the screen tilted back a little bit so when the screws are no longer securing it, it just doesn't fall forward for you. Okay, so we put one screw. We'll put, keep different sets of screws in different piles. So when you're putting it back together, you're not confused which screws go where. Okay, so we remove the two screws on this side. Next, we're going to remove the two screws on the other side. So, same thing. Tilt it forward. You have to force the plastic lid back a little bit, not too much, just enough to reach the screws. So, we remove the last screw. Once we do that, we start slowly tilting the screen assembly forward making sure nothing is in our way. 
Now, sometimes the web cap, the cable for the webcam is going to be adhered to the back, so we either have to remove the connector to the webcam or remove the adhesive. But in this case, we did not have to do that. And so the screen tilts forward nicely. Okay, and now the next thing we want to do is remove the connector. This is an LED screen. There's only one connector and it's secured by some tape. So we start removing the tape with our fingernails. Okay, we lift up the tape like so. Okay, and also the cable is secured to the screen by some adhesive, so we lift up the adhesive and we pull back the tape. Once we do that, we can pull the connector back like so and the screen is released. So let's take a look at this screen. It's a standard 17.3 inch LED screen with a connector on the bottom left as 99% of the screens out there and all the screens for Dell like that. Let's take a look at the part number for this screen. We want to get a good focus. So we see it's a LP173WD1. LP173WD1. That's the part number you need to know, and you can find it on Google or eBay, or you can buy it from Screen Surgeons directly. Just go to ScreenSurgeons.com and click on Buy a Screen. Okay, and the other thing to notice is that the screen finish is glossy, and most screens are. So when you receive your screen, it's not going to have the exact identical part number, but the screen dimensions and the screw holes are going to be in the same place, and the connector is going to be in the same place, and all the specs are going to be the same for the resolution and the brightness. Okay, and that's it. So once you have your new screen, you reattach the connector, put the adhesive back, put it back into the metal mounting brackets, put the screws back and just snap the frame on and you're good to go. And that's it. And once again, my name is Eugene Panwerkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you and good luck.